Hi everyone! Welcome back to our video. And in this video, i-discuss na ako sa inyo karon ang unsaon pag-solve sa mga word problems na nag-involve o circular functions. So, let us begin. Unsa day ang mga unsa day ang mga word problems or unsa day ang mga situations na pwede na to ma-apply ng circular functions. If you're familiar with this picture, this picture is uh, what we call the sundial. Sa unang panahon nga dili pa uso ang mga kahilo, this sundial is used to tell the time. So it is composed of the metallic plate and as you can see it is calibrated. Kunya na po tay gitawag diri nga new moon and the shadow of this thing ang shadow nga makas dito sa mga calibrated will determine the time of the day depende siya sa pag um, set o pag um, rise sa ato ang sun. So, in modern applications of the circular functions, this will include the repetitive and periodic behavior of nature. So, there are many repetitive and periodic behaviors of nature. No? Um, just like the oscillation, the vibration, we have the rotation, and we have the motion. It may be found in the water, in the trees, and in other, in other things around us. And this um, movement is referred to the simple harmonic motions. And the simple harmonic motions can be modeled using the sine and the cosine functions. So, in other words, this uh, simple harmonic motions, the displacement of the object or the length of the object na nag uh, demonstrate of um, periodic or repetitive behavior can be given by these equations. Y is equal to A sine the quantity of B, um, B times the quantity of T minus C plus D, or Y is equal to A cosine B times the quantity of T minus C plus D, which is all of these are with respect to time. Okay, with respect to time. So, if you notice na to ang equation niya, ni sine and the cosine, these are the equations na ato ang graph sa atong previous topic, right? So, we already know what is the function of our A. Para asa na si variable B, para asa na si variable C, and para asa na si variable D. So, our variable A is used to determine the amplitude, okay? And we all know that the amplitude determines the maximum displacement, the height of our graph, di ba? And in, our, in, uh, in this simple harmonic motion, it can be solved using this equation, 1 half times the absolute value of m minus m. Kani m nga dako, muna siya ang maximum displacement above. While the m nga small, muna siya ang uh, minimum displacement but below the rest position. Okay, so si m si maximum height, while si small m is the minimum height. We all know already about the formula for the period, especially sa sine and cosine functions. It is given by our formula, 2 pi over the absolute value of p. And then, it is important also to note the number of cycles per unit of time, which is given by the reciprocal lang siya sa formula sa period. So, that is what we call the frequency. Mintag frequency, kapila siya nagbalik-balik or pilak siya ka number of uh, cycles per unit of time. So, it is given by the formula, the absolute value of B all over 2 pi. So, as you notice, reciprocal lang siya ni period. Okay, we all know already that C is for the horizontal shift. But this time, we are, we are dealing with time. While D is the responsible of the vertical shift in displacement. So, this is an example illustration of the simple harmonic motion. So, there is a weight suspended on a spring. So, when the time is 0 seconds, meaning, wala pa ni mo siya interfere ang weight o pa ni mo gibira ang spring na pa siya sa iyang normal state. So, ang iyahang distance is na siya sa negative 3, which is below the central point. So, after 2.8 seconds, kaya mo na siyang gi down. So, syempre, ang spring, di ba mo up and down mo na siya. That's why it is oscillating. So, now, the weight is at here. 3 um, centimeters na siya above. So, this is just an example of our simple harmonic motion. So, to understand better kung asa na siya magamit sa sine si cosine function, let us proceed to our first example. So, our first example is about the weight that is suspended from a spring and is moving up and down in simple harmonic motion. So, I'm sure all of you 
nose or nakikita na mo sa spring na mag move up and down. So at the start daw, the weight is pulled down 5 cm below the resting position and then released. So syempre, kung i-release na siya, magsige siya kapalik-balik. So after 8 seconds, the weight reaches its highest location for the first time. And find the equation of the motion. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? First, we are going to illustrate the say pasabot sa problem. It is important for us in, to understand the problem. Kung say good iyahang, we can picture out the situation. So imagine this is the spring and yana ay weight. So um, the weight is pulled down five centimeter, no? At P is equal to 0, gibira siya, which is 5 cm below the resting position. Then after 8 seconds, iyan na din siyang gi-release. And after 8 seconds, ang weight ni Abos siya dito sa iyang highest location for the first time. So, let's have first the solution. Okay, I have a question. Which of these graphs best represent the situation? Asa kaya dira ang maka-represent sa atong situation? So take note that when the time is still zero, no, wala pa, ang ako ang um, weight is naano siya sa 5 cm. So asa siya nag-graph na ka-represent na. So this graph, which is the graph of the cosine function. Pero unsay nakalainan ani niya? Dili siya diri sa positive daw sugod, but diri sa negative, no? Kung ato ani siyang alis then Kung i-alis na ito siya 5, niya kanina negative 5, ang atong object, ang weights, ang location sa atong object is makita diri. So, meaning, paana siya dapat? Okay, paana siya? No? Paan ang iyahang dagway? So, we can model this one using the cosine function which is y is equal to negative 5 cosine b t. So, again, nanong cosine if ma notice ninyo sa atong previous sa atong mga graph, ang sign always mag-start there is a zero. Kung ang time is zero, time put, zero put iyahang displacement. Si cosine, when the time is zero, na na siya displacement. Mo na siya kalahian ni sine and the cosine function. That's why we will be using the cosine function. Y is equal to negative 5 cosine dt. So, um, we are going to find the equation of the motion. So, we found already the equation. Pero, the problem is missing pa si B. So, we are going to find B. And we can find the value of B through the formula of the period. Take note that um, the formula of our period is 2 pi over the absolute value of B. Okay. Nga nung niyo man siyang 1 half. Nga nung equal man siyang 8. Okay. Let's take note that after 8 seconds, the weight reaches its highest location for the first time. So, kung kani siya, highest location, this one, kani, no, after 8 seconds, abot siya dira, ah. This is just half of the cycle, di ba? Ang cycle, one cycle sa atong cosine is this one, taman dire, kay 2 pi, di ba? This is the one cycle of our cosine function. So, kung maabot siya dire sa highest, this one, after 8 seconds, therefore, Ang 8 seconds is just half of the period, half away siya of the period. That's why we multiply 1 half to the formula of the period and that is equal to 8. So, we have the value, b is equal to pi over 8. So, i-substitute lang natin ang value ni b dito sa atong equation which is y equals negative 5 cosine bt. We finally have the equation y is equal to negative 5 cosine pi t all over 8. So, I hope you understand the solution. Okay, so now let's proceed to our second example. Okay, so our second example involves the Ferris wheel. So, suppose you ride a Ferris wheel. The lowest point of the wheel is 3 meters off the ground and its diameter is 20 meters. So, after it started, the Ferris wheel revolves at a constant speed and it takes 32 seconds to bring you back again to the riding point. So after riding for 150 seconds, find your approximate height above the ground. So, nag-involve po ay siya og simple harmonic motion ka nang magsakay ta og Ferris wheel. So let us illustrate. So let's assume that this is our ground level. 
So, muna siya ang gibot nyan sa atong Ferris wheel. And we have the Ferris wheel. Charot. So, the diameter of our Ferris wheel is 20 meters. So, therefore, the radius is just equal to 10. And then, ang Ferris wheel is 3 meters off the ground. So, meaning, kanisha, ang kahabugun niya from the ground is 3 meters. And this is our riding point. Diba, kung masakit ang Ferris wheel na, magigit siya sa ubos. So, after 150 seconds, pangitaon na to, Kung asa na tadapit, no? Sample, kung diri na baka tadapit, kung unsa ang atong kal ka tas on, di ka sa ground. So, let us solve. Okay? So, take note of the given. First is the radius, which is 10 meters, no? So, wala pa nag-andar ang atong ferris wheel. We already have the displacement. So, i-assume na ito nga, um, kaning ato ang central point here is the point of origin sa ato ang Cartesian plane. So, we also have here the 3 meters. In solving, ato sa nang ignore si 3 meters, mag-focus lang sa ta kay 10 meters. No? So, based on this, we can use the cosine function. Kaya nga nung cosine function naman po ang gamiton. Kaya naan naman tayo displacement daan even though our time is still zero. No? Again, as I said, kung sa tamang gamit ang sine and cosine function, kung sine gani siya, kung ang time is zero, zero po yung displacement. Pero kung cosine gali siya, ang time niya is zero pa, meaning wala pa siya nag-andar, wala pa yung motion, na na siya displacement daan. So, this is illustrated perfectly in the Ferris wheel. So, because of that, we will be using again our cosine function. So, we, it is given by this formula, y is equal to negative 10 cosine bt. So, before ta makapangita sa atong displacement or sa atong height above the ground, after we ride for 150 seconds, ato sang pangita on ang equation para makasolve ni Anna. So, ang missing variable sa atong equation is b. By the way, if kung uh, ano mo ng ano negative ten na siya, it is because di esom na tuning atong central point sa ato ang first wheel as the center of origin. So ang ten ani is below the origin, that's why it's negative ten. Okay. So in finding b, we will we will use again the formula for the period. Okay, take note of the word. Oh, it takes 32 seconds to bring you back again to the riding point. Meaning, 32 seconds the ay kikan dire, tuyok padong dire. Meaning, ang iyahang one period the ay is just equal to 32. So, therefore, we will substitute this to the, ah, we will equate this one to the formula of the period, which is 2 pi over the absolute value of b that is equal to 32. So, we have the value of b now, which is pi over 16. And then, the same process with our previous example, we are going to substitute it. And so, we finally found the equation to solve our problem. y is equal to negative 10 cosine pi t over 16. So, kanina equation karon. Si T na lang ang missing. And now, pangitaon na to ang value ni Y, meaning ang height no after riding 150 seconds. So, substituting T to uh, 150 to our T in the equation, we obtain Y is approximately 3.83. So, we are um, at uh, Y is equal to 3.83. Kung ato siyang tanawon, di ba kay origin man ato ni? Di ba? Kung ato siyang idrohan o um, kung Cartesian plane pa na siya, na at the dapit, there 3.83. There it ah, somewhere here or it can be na at the dapit. Okay, that's, uh, this is 3.83 uh, meters. Muna siya ang ato ang distance from the uh, central point of the Ferris wheel. No? Muna itong height. But the question is, unsa day siya katas uh, or unsa day imong location above the ground? Since we know that this is 10, ang diameter, ang radius, I mean, sa atong Ferris wheel, and it is also 3 meters off the ground, so we need to add 13 meters to our answer. So, therefore, you are 16.83 meters off the ground. 
So I hope that you understood the discussion and the solution in solving um, simple harmonic motions problem involving circular functions. Thank you for watching this video.